Welcome back, you guys. This is Tisindra. Continuing my Hoi 4 Kaiserai campaign as the Kingdom of Siam. I think we're going as a Republic because monarchy doesn't really suit, um, well, going syndicalist or going communist. That doesn't make sense. The monarchy is, I don't know, anti communist. I think so, at least. So, a Republic makes more sense, but, um,. Like, I could go down this route over here, but this is, um... Social democracy here. Social conservatism. Social liber liberalism. So, I could do this, but I only get the 3% stability. And once I get down this, I'm just... Yeah, I, this one should not be unlocked. Or maybe, I don't know. It's weird that I can already start going down a democratic route. But I have to wait for, like, a coup d'etat here to go communist. Yeah. Let's see here. Military purges. That does not sound good. Amnities. Um, I don't know what this is. France and Britain are doing something. Okay. Am amnesties. Issuing amnesties. That <clears throat> hmm. Base stability goes down. Losing 10 army experience? Yeah, of course I'm purging the military. Uh, recovery rate. Divisions required for sending volunteer force. I That's that's so bad. Paternal autocrats. No. No, 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 no. We're going the People's Assembly. Who cares about Argentina, really? This is a temporary modifier. Construction speed 20. Factory repair speed, free repair, massive bonuses. I'm guessing this is if uh, my country is heavily damaged after the Civil War, but it's not worth 70 days. No, this is not worth it. I, I don't think I'm ever going to pick this one. Every tree has, like, really shitty options for some things here. We're going to go down this route. We're going to get the, uh, the Black Monday on a timer, on a 360 day timer, then it's gonna just disappear. We're gonna get rid of the bloated bureaucracy, and then I think I'll focus on the industry here. Yeah, let's put it on speed five, and we are just gonna build and build and build. Let's change this here. Um, yeah, we still only have three factories. I'm gonna go ahead and drop you. Yeah. I could just start doing military factories, but I think the ETA on those with five civilian factories is going to take forever. Uh, you go up to four. That's that's fine. Ah, the construction speed here is so horrible. Let's see. If I click here... Oy, there's a negative 60% there. Plus an extra 2.2 .2 for the stability. If I cancel this and I just do more infrastructure. What's the penalty there? Yeah, the 30% drops off. I'm gonna... Yeah, let's let's start with infrastructure. Ooh! Poland and Lithuania made, like, the Commonwealth thing. Yeah! Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. And they have joined the Reichspacht. Okay. They are a lot stronger now. That is very cool. That's what I tried to do in my Polish uh, Poland campaign. But apparently that's a decision on the Lithuanian side that uh, just never happened. Which annoyed me to a great degree. Um, so five more days of this. We get some stability, but we drop another hundred political power. We don't really care about this. It's on our border, but we don't really care about this. Give me um, governmental reform to get rid of the bloated bureaucracy. So we get 2% stability, and we just completely get rid of this spirit here. The political power will be nice, and the consumer goods factories... I don't know. It's nice, but then again, we have 16 factories. 
So 10% of this is 1.6 factories. I don't know. We'll see if we actually get a civilian factory free here. We have six currently. I don't know. But yeah, but this one right now is on a timer of the 14th of August, 1937, and then it will be gone. So we just have to wait. This one might change year from year. And this one, yeah, this is going to help us build stuff. So we actually only have these two negatives to get rid of. This one will fix itself, and this one is about to disappear. Research speed, research slot, no, we don't need that. Stability. No. Uh, no, this was all shit, wasn't it? Division organization, that is my favorite keyword there. Civil war, okay. I like that, I like 10% division organization. Four military factories, I like that as well. Stability goes down, but war support goes up, output goes up by 10 in the factories, and production efficiency goes up by 5. And they went to war with Don Kuban? What? You you have you have a civil war to do and you go after Don Kuban? Isn't the German? The Germans can actually hate you for that. They can do stuff about that, but they're maybe not going to. Okay, let's uh, let's think about this for a second here. What do I want to do with my research currently? I could just start the industry. It's ahead of time. But, like, we're not going for tanks. We're not going for artillery right now. We're not going for boats. We're not going for planes. I kind of just want to go for industry completely. Like, we'll take this ahead of time. But this is what I need right now. Build up. Yeah, I think that I think that was the right choice, even if it was ahead of time. I know I have planes in reserve. Uh, I could train more dudes, but it says we have low manpower. I'm fine with what we have. Still lack a few guns for you guys. That's like oof. Two and a half years, maybe? Two and change years for this? Okay. Oh boy. Economic stabilization. Yeah, that's that's the Black Monday one. That's gonna go away very, very soon. Okay. Uh, Indochina usually breaks free. Usually. Governmental reform done, and we got rid of that modifier. Now we're gaining a lot of political power. That Jesus, that is huge. Now, so industry. This is political power and one factory. We get free oil tech. We get synthetic refinery. And we get, what is this? Repair speed, free repair. Infrastructure construction speed, military factory construction speed, and civilian factory as well. This is military factory. I don't think we need the rubber. This is shit. This is shit. Uh, civilian factory, steel. The political power is nice. No. So there's a factory here. There's a factory here. So all three of these have factories. We've got a synthetic one. Um, I kind of want the military factory right now. I'm gonna think I'm gonna do all three of these, and then I'm gonna go down this route and get this one. I think yeah, we can do this one, this one, this one, and then all the way down, and then we sort of sort through this. But um, political power, civilian factory, and steel. Uh, let's start with military factory. I think that's a good choice. And the political power is always nice. It's gonna help balance out the negatives we have here. So this is 30. This is what? This is 30 and this is 50. So 110. That's a nice chunk of our political power fix there. I think I'll just queue this up for now. 
Because until the um, Black Monday stuff is fixed, uh, I don't think we're going to be building much. Yeah, until this goes away, I don't want to do stuff, really. And we'll, we'll still have toaster economy. I want this up, and I want this gone, and then we can build a bunch of factories. Huey Long, elected president. Really? So they're just going to go full um, AUS here, are they? That's interesting, but there's probably still going to be a civil war, right? Actually, I don't know. The CSA might rise up, but if it's only them? I don't know. Stability is horrible for them. Yeah, this is going to be a long... It's going to be many, many years for them to stabilize before they even become a threat. And as the AUS, I don't know what faction they're going to join because they're authoritarians. They might join the Reichspacht, which would be horrible. Uh, if America joining the Reichspakt would actually make the Reichspakt really, really difficult to deal with moving forward. But then again, I mean, yeah, I mean, German East Asia is over here. I think if the Germans become an issue, we're going to need a navy. The only avenue of expansion I have is, like, we can take the Yunnan clique, maybe? Indochina, maybe? Denmark joined the Reichspakt. Or we can go west into Burma. But if Burma joins the Bracha Commune, we're going to have to fight both of them. Burma has nothing. We could probably take them right now. No. World tension is 75%. That's not happening anytime soon. It doesn't hit 75 or above, I think, until 1939, when World War II starts. And they might have joined the Bracha's Commune by then. Hmm. If they wipe out Don Kuban pretty quickly, then um, they can probably handle the Soviet Russias. Uh, manpower is low, but your division count is high. Um, I mean, I would put my money on the Republic here, but... I don't know, they can fuck this up. They have equal amount of factories, so... Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, well, they took Moscow, that's the uh, industrial part. Hmm. So, Nedj won this. Now this is going to become Saudi Arabia. It doesn't really matter which who which tribe wins this. They always become Saudi Arabia. Alright. Hmm. Electrify the nation. For 360 days, let me read this. It's gonna, it takes two civilian factories away from us for a year. We get 2% stability just for selecting it. And when it's done, we get 5% stability and construction speed and output. I like this. I really, really like this. Okay, give me civilian factory here and the political power. Give me, yeah, guns, more and more guns. First one is done. We'll upgrade Chaiseri. I imagine this is a company. Chaiseri Metal and Rubber. Chaiseri is only there, okay. Uh, light tanks. Uh, uh, hmm. Maybe if we just attach some light tanks to our infantry, they could they could They could do some damage, but like it wouldn't last like 1940 onwards the light tanks become so so bad Really really bad Like once the infantry unlock like that's 42 once they unlock like just basic anti-tank infantry This thing here light tanks become so easy to deal with or they could just have, like, anti-tank guns. Nah, I don't know. Maybe. Do I have chromium? No. So I can't go for heavy tanks. There goes Donkuban. That was surprisingly fast. 
So you're probably going to go... Yeah, I think they're going to win this. Are you going to puppet this or are you going to keep it? What, what does the Donkoban Union have? Chromium and oil and some tungsten. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Hey! Thank you very much. So, um... Let's just start our, our uh, doctrine here. I'm going to go with Grand Battle Plan. Yeah. So my clique is... <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> my clique is dying. Which is no surprise. That usually happens. But the question is... Uh, Mongolia goes after, like, these guys here. And then they have an option of going after any one of these. They can they can go after any of these nations, or they could go west into the uh, Turkestan Alash Orda stuff if they want to. Oh, it happened anyway. Oh, Douglas MacArthur took over. Okay, so the PSA formed, meaning the U.S. is weaker. Hmm, the war hasn't started yet, but yeah, it's gonna start any second now. Uh, let's see here. Why that's... Okay, Brazilian Civil War. Serbia has a republic. I think this means Russia declares war on Japan? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, Russia has already... This is its third war. It's year two. And they've had three wars. They're, this is... Dude... What's wrong with you? Russia does this every single time. They, they pick too many fights at the same time. Well, whatever. It's not our problem. It's just... <clears throat> having a strong Russia usually means there's a buffer like going into Europe. Sometimes it's good, but this time around? No. So this upgraded the steel thing. Let's see here. Cement. Um, something, something steel, it says. Really? What did it... What was it called? There's a civil war. Saha Viraya Steel. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. I don't get it. Where is this thing? Am I not seeing it? I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing that steel company here. That's weird. Okay, so... Um, yeah, we just finished the industry. It is 1937. We could go after some light tanks. Let's get the fighters unlocked and the tanks. That might be an avenue we go for. I want at least the option available to us. Canada goes after Panama. Okay. You actually declare war on them, okay. Costa Rica joined the Entente, meaning the Entente can actually attack Panama right now. They can just land troops and then take it. Assuming Costa Rica doesn't fall instantly with their one dude, but Panama's got two. indo chinese Union has ended hostilities, meaning they are now independent. Not guaranteed by anyone. Yeah, they've got a lot of dudes. I want to go on your border instead. I don't care. Okay, go here. I take this dock. And then once that is done... Just sweep up. That's fine. At least give them an order ready. This is... um. 
I mean, these numbers are okay. The, the party popularity could be higher. Once this one is done, you'll be very close to being positive again. Uh, after this, am I going to continue all the way down here? Agricultural mechanization. Two industry boosts. Ooh, that is really, really good. Monthly population, recruitable population. Civilian factory, a boost to industry. Don't care, don't care. Um, Paraguay declares war, okay. Monthly population, recruitable population, efficiency cap. And this gets us infrastructure and the ability to go up more in infrastructure. I mean, this is a nice buff to have, but this one here is good. But it, it's it's a lot of work getting it. I, I kind of want to do this one. Yeah, I kind of want to finish this and then go all the way down here. I mean, we don't need the steel and tungsten right now. We can unlock it when we need it. Look at the st look. We need steel, okay? But the tungsten we have a plenty of. Yeah, I think we'll go down this road. Yeah. Okay, give me this. We're at negative fifty-four. Spanish Civil War. The Belgrade Pact is forming. There we go. Civil War over here. And the Brazilian Civil War is fracturing into smaller factions. There's a lot of things happening right all at the same time. But it looks like the Swedish have joined the uh, Internationale along with Norway. Really? That is weird. That is, that is pretty weird. What is this? It's a committee. Okay. That's a really weird Swedish flag, but I don't think I've seen Sweden go like radical socialist before. But okay. You have not gained anything. The Germans got Poland due to join them, but nothing else. Uh, the AUS is starting off pretty strong. And the Pacific states are doing quite well, actually. Hmm. The thing about the CSA is all you really need to wipe them out is take this area. And if the AUS go from Louisville up and just take this, they're, they're dead. They're so dead. But the PSA, you have to get all the way to the coast and take these three cities. And possibly Seattle as well. Okay, let's pause. Let's pause. Rise of the Mongol Empire. We do not care. So, the predictions made in the polls with regards to this election have been very close. However, it seems as though one side has managed to eke out a majority in Parliament. So, the socialists have emerged victorious. So... No. So, the authoritarians go away, but... It says here, 45% social dem democracy. We kind of want to go heavier into syndicalism. This is social liberals. This is social conservatives. This is as close as it goes right now. I'm going to go socialist here. And then we'll just have to see if I can go further into the reds. Uh, totalist, syndicalist, radical socialists, or syndicalist aligned social democrats. So I have to align with the syndicalists in order for this to disappear as an option, okay? That's fine. And we are almost positive. Our party popularity went up, and we're gaining 1.18 pp a day. Nice. 
Very, very nice. Um, let's see, production. You are not missing that many guns. 60 days. 60 days and then we have all the equipment we need. Maybe I'll drill you... Yeah, because you still have some green dudes. I'm just going to drill you right now. You basically have the guns you need. I'm just going to drill you a bit more to make sure. Yeah, let's do this instead. Really? This is the push you have? This is how it develops? That's pretty bad. Hmm. Okay, okay, that's fine. Oi, we have positive political power. It did not take us that long. Let's see, you're about to expire in August. So next month. That's good. Then we are done with Black Monday and we are effectively stabilized. Uh, I just need to change this into early mobilization. Hopefully into war economy as fast as I can. Rio has fallen. Uh, this one was kind of useless, but this one here is pretty good. Trench warfare done. Give me grand battle plan. Now give me agricultural cooperatives. And three civilian factories. Thank you very much. Currently we have eight working on infrastructure. So... I think I can drop the infrastructure build-up soonish. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> this, is a, this is an event. The first tractor in Ayutthaya. Mother, mother, Uncle Dang has bought a new machine. It can plow, pull, tear, move, and you can ride on it. He says it's called a Rothai. The advent of the tractor, or as it is now nicknamed by farmers, the Steel Buffalo. And Ayothea has led to a revolution in local agriculture, with farm output increasing on a scale unfathomable a mere generation ago. Truly the boons of industry are good for Siam. Any all gets tractors. Farming efficiency goes up. Wait, this lasts until 31st of December 2035. So we get a modifier here for 100 years. No, 98 years. Wow, we got tractors. Damn. That is hilarious. And economic stabilization is gone. Very, very nice. So we have... We still have only eight um, infrastructure here. I'm going to go ahead and delete all of this. I want to finish this infrastructure, I think. And then we go... Military Factory is 3. I'm going to keep you. Let's just change this up. I don't want to waste his progress, but I'm going to move it down. Give me those 3 Military Factories. Let's keep building up our army. Because I want tanks and I want planes. And we just unlocked both of those. Let's, uh, let's continue with this tank. But the, the, um, the planes... I think we're good. I think we're good. I don't want to start you. You're slightly ahead of time. But give me this. Let's unlock this. Saudi Arabia has joined the Cairo Pact. Okay. So the Cairo Pact has two current members. Egypt and Saudi Arabia. So they're going to go after the Ottomans. They're probably going to try to get a lot more people joining this. But let's go ahead and pause it right here. So... Uh, effectively, all the negatives of our country, at least the, the spirits that we had to begin with, are gone. Uh, we are currently social democrats. I'm hoping to become more like syndicalist here. But we're going to have to figure out how we do that exactly. I'm hoping we go a, an open rebellion, but I hope I didn't mess this up by choosing the wrong option. The only other options I had was social liberals... And social uh, conservatives. 
Uh, we'll have to see. If not, I'll have to reload. I hate not knowing, but I don't want to Google, like... I don't even know if there is. Like, Google how to do Kingdom of Siam, how to do Syndicalist. Um, but I hope I didn't fuck anything up here. But anyway, we're off to a good start, and um, we will continue to do so moving forward. So, I will see you guys in the next episode, but until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.